and new rule aims to prevent individuals from being forced to leave their jobs because of long delays in the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services USAs, processing of employment authorization documents EADS. The rule is a welcomed temporary fix for those who face lost employment. What is the problem USAs is trying to solve? During testimony on April 6, 2022, before the House Committee on Appropriations, USIS Director Yorjadu noted there are 1.5 million pending requests for work permits, reported Suzanne Monyak of Roll Call. As a result, people are losing work authorization, and others saw the prospect of unemployment. At the same time employers around the United States remain desperate to fill jobs, to her credit, note analysts, Jadu decided to take action in a new temporary final rule to resolve the immediate problem for many applicants by extending work authorization an additional year and a half for those with timely renewal applications. What does the new rule do? According to the USIS regulation, this rule temporarily amends existing Department of Homeland Security DHS, regulations to provide that the automatic extension period applicable to expiring employment authorization documents, Forms I-766 or EADS, for certain renewal applicants who have filed for who will benefit from the rule. Three primary groups will benefit from the new USIS rule. One, EAD renewal applicants eligible for the automatic extension who already have filed their renewal form I-765 application, which remains pending on May 4, 2022, and whose EAD has not expired or whose current up to 180-day auto extension has not yet lapsed, notes a policy update from Barry Aplum. And, three, Renewal applicants who are already experiencing a gap in employment authorization and or EAD validity.